Great. So moving on, we're gonna try this new feature now. All right. So um, we're gonna do this one minute review thing now. It's a new concept. We're gonna try this now. So Ellen is gonna do it this week. I'll probably get you to do it next week. So let me, let me see the timer. I'll put the. I'm, so basically, we're gonna do Ellen is gonna give us a quick review of Bad Moms Christmas. Is it? Yeah. And we're gonna do it in a minute. So I'm trying to get it in. You know, get it done quickly. Under pressure, you're gonna have to say everything you can. And once it hits a minute, do you want me to count the seconds? Oh, you can give like ten seconds. You can give like a ten second intervals, like you know, ten. 20. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Right. Like so, you're going to get composed first and uh, get, 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 you know, <laughs> get the pacing right. You don't want to... Right. So, three, you ready? Yeah. Right. So, Bad Moms Christmas. Christmas. Go. <laughs> this is the sequel to Bad Moms and it came out last year. It was directed by John Lucas and Scott Moore. <laughs> John Lucas is the writer for The Hangover and Scott Moore, both of them directed Bad Moms, the original. Scott Moore directed 21 and over. <laughs> it's got Mila Kunis, Kristen Bell and Catherine Hahn as these bad mums, but they're not bad mums. They love their kids, but they just don't want to be doing the PTA and the after school clubs and all this kind of stuff. Seconds. So they take a bit more time for themselves. This time we're introduced to their mums, Kristen Bransky, uh, Leonard's mum from Big Bang Theory, I love her. Cheryl Hines and Susan Sarandon, who's Half like a time's drunk, gone. drunk mother <laughs> who like travels the road and all this kind of stuff. And it's how their mothers come and kind of ruin Christmas, but they all ruin Christmas because they're all arguing and then they get back together. 20 and they seconds all love left. Each other again. <laughs> I thought it was really funny. It's very, very crude bits, um, but it's a really, really fun film if you just want something light and easy to watch. And, Ten. Um, <laughs> and it does get a bit emotional with the mums as well, but then it's like a good Christmas movie. Five more seconds, you wanna really um, just, I'll just- Don't fool, watch it. I'll just fool some time. <laughs> awesome, that's, that's not bad actually. Got a lot in in a minute, so well done. Yeah. Yeah. I think we should do a lot of that more. It makes it a bit more dynamic and action. Yeah, we can get more films in then. Exactly. <laughs> so, so wait, is it a good film? Is it a bad film? Like it's. It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. It is it's, what it is. It's, it's a hangover style. Who would you recommend trip. this for though? It's a girls' movie, I reckon. Just girls. So. It's not just for girls. I reckon guys can watch it yeah. because the the comedy kind of goes both mm. ways. It's more like. It's more like girls' trip. Here we go, we're going over the one okay. minute here, man. Yeah, no, but you know, the he's minute. asking the questions. No, 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 you, know, you, just, <laughs> you also watched yeah. um, uh, Only for the Brave, Only the Brave. Yeah. Which you were saying is very much alpha males coming together and doing their stuff. Mm. That sounds like a guy film. Whereas this I one, would, I would, no, yeah. I wouldn't say Only the so Brave that is wasn't a guy's a guy film. film. Okay. No, 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 that's, no, it's just, just guys like, who happen to be the... Yeah, like the, yeah. the men are the focal point of yeah. the film. But I wouldn't say it was a film only for men. But this one is... And, but this, in the same way, is the focal point is the women, yeah. but I wouldn't say it's just a film yeah. for the women. Fine, fine. Not like it was the one with Scarlett Johansson, which one was it? Night Bad Night. Yeah, I think that looked a lot more like it was aimed towards probably that mark, but I think this one is a lot more open to you. If you like the first one, you probably like this one, right? Yeah. This movie, so... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, it's it's a comedy. Yeah, it's a comedy, And, it, yeah. and it's an uh, easily accessible com comedy for anyone. Yeah, it's something can wait. I've got a day to kill, I've got an evening to kill, I'll just watch this, you know, if you want to offend you. And you can move on. Right, so.